So I'm here on a farm taking a look at the all-electric joystick kit, which has been installed on the Agco Challenger MT575D. And what we're going to be looking at is each of the components that's installed. Here we're looking at the control valve. And so you've got the control valve here, and then there's six working hoses which are going up to the steel lines on the loader and then those of course are coming down here to control the, the arms of the loader, the bucket, and then the grapple as well. So this is what we would call a three function joystick kit is it has the three functions. The loader is one function, the bucket is another function, and then the grapple is the third function. This is the soft ride that's taking some of the jarring out of the hydraulics as it's driving. And then these hoses here, down here, that are going under, those are going to be the pressure return and load sense hoses. So those are supplying oil to the valve as well as um, taking oil back away from the valve to tank. And next we're going to look at where those are being connected to the tractor. So walking to the rear of the tractor here. Here you can see the P, that's for pressure. T is for return or tank, and then LS is for load sense. So those three ports are built right into this tractor, which is really nice. And some tractors you need a, a power beyond block to tap into the pressure return and load sense. But what this is, is basically it's the pressure is supplying the oil to the valve, the tank is the oil coming back from the valve, and then the load sense is the little bit of oil which is activating the valve. So walking over to the, to look inside the cab at the joystick here, climbing up inside. So this is the, joystick that comes with a kit and of course there's no cables running between the joystick and the control valve instead there's just a wiring harness and so it's a little bit hard to see because the wiring harness is actually pretty thin at this section and then um, the person that installed it did a really good job of tucking the wiring harness away also so just this is just Tracing it back here, what he did was he actually tucked the wiring harness under this plastic here and then also under the floor. So those wires that you're seeing there, those are something else. Those are not part of the wiring harness for this joystick kit. He's actually got the wiring harness under the, the floor mat and then he did drill a hole under the floor mat through the cab to go down to connect the wiring harness to the control valve. The person that installed this kit actually did um, design some of the own, his own brackets. This kit comes with universal brackets, but in this case he felt like this bracket here would work better, so he did machine that. And then I'm going to take a look down under the armrest here. He machined this as well, this bracket, and then bolted it to the bottom of the armrest. And then um, anything else that you're seeing here is just the existing armrest. So basically the bracket is bolted to the bottom of the armrest, comes out the side here, comes around, and then here's the joystick. What we're going to show next in the joystick is the operator. This is actually um, a video of the farmer himself operating this. What you're going to see is that the joystick, you don't have to move it very much at all um, to have to operate the equipment that it's controlling um, and then also just to illustrate that there is feathering. So in this section of the video the operator is in the seat. He is going to be operating the front end loader and bucket and grapple with this joystick. I'm just going to quickly explain the different buttons on the joystick as well as what it's like to power it on um, and then the video will show it being operated. Right after powering up the tractor, the joystick is actually powered off, so it does need to be powered on. So you press the button, 
wait a moment, and then it's ready to operate. So right here, you can see there's the different buttons on the joystick. In this setup, these two red ones are not being used. The green and the yellow are used to operate the grapple. Those will open and close the grapple. And then the blue is used for float. So here the operator is going to be moving the joystick. And what he's going to do first is move the joystick just a little bit. This is going to illustrate that there is feathering in, in the joystick. In this case, because he's moving the joystick just a little bit, the loader is grazing very, very slowly. Now a little more quickly. And now the operator is going to be just a little bit or pushing the, the joystick just a little bit to make the loader start coming down slowly. And then pushing it a little bit further, which shows that the loader can then be moved down more, more quickly. So that's just illustrating that it's what some people would call proportional, what other people call feathering. Based on how much you're pushing the joystick, the loader will move faster or slower. And the same is true of the bucket. And then the grapple is on this control, on this setup, the grapple is all on or all off. Um, so I'm just going to quickly first show um, opening the grapple. So that's all on. And then closing the grapple. So that, so that is not variable. That's always the same speed um, because that's a, uh, the push of a button uh, it does not involve moving the joystick at all. And then here the operator is controlling the bucket. So moving just a little, the joystick just a little bit shows the bucket dumping slowly. And then moving the joystick a little bit more shows the dump, bucket dumping more quickly. So you've got the hydraulic control valve and then there's the wiring harness running up to the joystick in the cab. And then also there's the hoses which are going from the control valve back to the pressure return and load sense, which in this tractor are built into the rear of the tractor. And then also the working hoses which are going up to the front end loader. This control valve is being used to control a front end loader with a grapple.